guys if you guys saw the title we are going to talk to you guys about studying in russia studying medicine in russia both of us are studying medicine in russia um we're doing uh we're going now to our fifth year right our fifth year yeah, yeah september guys, so like first of september we're starting our fifth year yeah and then sixth year and then we go home yay <laughs> Welcome to Salu's YouTube channel. Uh, so my name is Notando, my surname is Mamba, and I am a South African citizen studying medicine in Russia. Yes, in Russia. <laughs> so guys, <clears throat> Salu asked me today to be part of her channel. She sent me some questions here, which I uh, hope to answer honestly. And yeah, so this question is just based on my academic life, my uh, student life as a medical student, studying abroad and all of that. So I'll try to be as honest as I can possibly be. By the way, guys, before we continue, uh, I also have a YouTube channel called Notando Mamba. So I'd really, really, truly appreciate it if you guys would support me by subscribing to my channel as well, guys. Thank you. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so the questions. Um, okay. She said I must introduce myself, which I think I already did. My name is Notando. My surname is Mamba. And I'm currently in my fifth year of study. Uh, and actually, some universities in South Africa, I know you do medicine for six years, some you do for seven. But here in Russia, it's mostly six years. So I'm almost done. Yay! I'm in my fifth year, guys. And my university name is called Astrakhan State Medical University. That's where I'm based here in Russia. And then also, she, the question she's asking now is, which school did I go to? Which uh, high school did I go to? I attended a school called Metropolitan International College, which is a Nelspray. It's a private school, I think. Yeah, so <laughs> I attended there. My high school, I, I completed there actually. And then she also wants to know, um, how how who is funding my fees? I guess. So at the moment, I am in a bursary, guys. There's a bursary which, which they issue out. I think almost every year. It used to be the Cuban bursary, right? So now they are also doing Russia. So I'm under the Bumalanga um scholarship um from the Department of Education. So yeah, that's the. Um, funny that i'm getting and then the next question is how did i prepare for the board for the npt npt test uh, i think she's talking about the test which uh we wrote when we were still in high school the international the national test right that's the one i guess so uh basically my friends and i had a little bit of a study group going on i think it was grade 12 when i wrote it or grade 11 i'm not sure um so we prepared for that um because you know what was scary for us was that you don't use calculators for that and we were like what you don't use calculators for that <laughs> that's a bit scary i'm not gonna lie but we actually managed to do it i think we wrote it at stuff ups if i'm not mistaken yeah it was stuff ups so we went there and we wrote it as much as we didn't use calculators but i feel like we did pretty well it was not bad it was not bad and then um the next question is your first year experience of, of varsity life Woo! to be honest with you guys uh hmm it wasn't easy because <laughs> first of all i am miles and miles away from home <laughs> so when i arrived here okay I, luckily i came here with people that i kind of know i came with my uh sibling and uh few other people from where i come from not that i knew very well but uh at least i was surrounded by south africans you know what i mean so it wasn't so hard but it was hard being away from home being in a totally different country where they don't even speak english most of them so it was a bit hard but i think the fact that i was surrounded by so many other south africans because we came together as the as part of the bursary so it kind of helped a little you know yeah but definitely this place was not what i expected so that was really 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 hard for me to kind of adjust first year was really really hard for me and and um what keeps you going when the road gets tough <clears throat> wow Whew. prayer i'll be honest with you prayer <laughs> prayer is the first thing and also i think the fact that i i kind of i, I like to re sit down and just think about why i came here what i came here to do and kind of like restructure everything like guys you know especially if you're a medical student how hard it can get how tough it can get and sometimes you even feel like oh my god will i even make it but for me like i said first of all i pray i pray and then up on top of that i also just like to restructure and reschedule my stuff if i feel like maybe 
I'm now off balance, I'm, I'm off schedule or I'm very, I'm falling behind. I like to just sit down and rethink and restructure, replan. I am, I'm a planner. I don't know if you can even see from <laughs> behind. This is literally like I have my planner, I have my goal tracker. That board of mine is now empty, but I'm a planner. I literally, literally write my things down. I like to plan my stuff. And when the road gets tough and I feel like right now, maybe I'm losing it. I sit down and I restructure, I replan. That's what I do. And it's very important to plan, especially your month, your day, your year, whatever, because now you have a you have you have some you wrote it down what you wanted to do, right? So it's like it keeps you going, it keeps you on point, you know, it keeps you on point. So I plan. I plan. And then um also I think um one other thing is just having like friends around me that help me because we're doing the same thing so it's like they help me to focus like they help me to refocus we are i'm in two study groups with my friends so whenever i'm off or it gets rough they kind of help pick me up and remind me and push me because i'm also one person that um works better whenever there's pressure around me so when they give me that pressure that boost i'm able to flow um the next question is asking about grades so guys uh i think it's the metric grades if i'm not mistaken one thing i like about russia guys is that the requirements here are not as high as back home like i know back home like you're supposed to get level seven level what what you know a a a but here in russia um i really like that their requirements are not as high as as back home so uh, it gives people like a chance to actually do medicine even if they were just a little bit short you know so with me i'm not gonna lie i was not a straight a student i did not get level sevens and everything my marks were quite okay to average okay okay to average or average so okay somewhere there you know but uh russia afforded me the opportunity to come study medicine you know because back home i did upgrade by the way my marks that i upgraded with uh I did BSc, sorry, were quite okay. Like they were not really bad. They were actually really good. So, but with my metric results, um, I don't think I would have been able to do medicine back home. So, like I said, Russia is a little bit chill when it comes to that. And then the next question is, uh, what keeps you going? Answer that one already. Your varsity academic experience and challenges from first year until now. Um, I would say most of all, guys, uh, Russia is a country that is dominated by Russian. I'm talking about the language, the Russian language. So they don't really speak much English here, although some of them do, but mostly it's just Russian. So I think for me, one thing that I've always had a, a problem with since first year up till now is the language barrier. Um, yes, I feel like maybe if... I had a picture of what it was going to be like. I would have taken the language seriously or maybe even uh, opted to do the Russian language um, first year and just focus on the language. You know how some countries, I think Cuba does it too, where you just learn Spanish for the first year before you actually get into the stream. So I, yeah, I feel like for me, maybe if I did that, but we, I didn't really know that my university doesn't really offer full English medium because I thought I was coming for full English medium. But uh, maybe, yeah, for me, that's honestly the biggest, biggest, biggest challenge, the language barrier, understanding the teachers, you know, always having to use a translator, my translating app. And it's a challenge, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's a huge challenge because, like, you can't understand the teacher. They don't understand you well, you know. But like I said, I do have study groups, which I feel like are helping me uh, to just try and cover what I miss in class, you know. And then, yes, the, the most challenging thing for me, I must say, is the language. Okay, the next question is the most challenging module you experience. Um, let me think. <laughs> what is the most challenging one i don't know i just find medicine to be fun to be honest with you i feel like for me i wouldn't say it's the modules that are challenging but it's the teachers like i feel like if you're a student and you're listening to me right now you understand what i mean some modules some modules or some cycles are not hard right but it's the teacher that's hard so they make it complicated honey uh so we have in russia a module called topographical anatomy it, it's mixed it's mixed with surgery it's almost like surgery i've noticed i've heard or i've read i've read that that module is only found in russia we don't do it in south africa i think we call it it's called something else in other countries is it regional anatomy or something but here they call it topographical anatomy mixed with surgery stuff 
Woo, our teacher, guys. Hey. Woo. Yeah, he was he was difficult. So he made that a very, very challenging module for us. Even the exam was very, very challenging because oh he just made it so bad. But I feel like it wasn't hard, but his approach to it was really hard. So for me, that was really, really hard. I'm glad I'm finished. I, I actually wrote the exam in my fourth year, so I'm done with it now. So yeah. And then the next question is the easiest module you've experienced anatomy <laughs> we all know guys anatomy i feel like every american student can attest anatomy Woo! i really enjoyed that one when i arrived i'm not gonna lie it was really really nice first year was you flowing your anatomy your physiology and i think also um i'm i'm currently revising internal medicine i really feel like i'm enjoying it no lies i am enjoying it no lies i really 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 am enjoying it and also um i feel like there's quite a few okay but when you look at therapy it's also like kind of related to internal medicine so i i really enjoy that i also enjoyed okay you just said one now look at me flowing <laughs> gosh <laughs> okay the next question is sorry how would you describe your current year in comparison to the previous years of medical school advice on how to prepare for these years right that's what you mean okay i think if i would compare now i feel like now i am honestly more um dedicated to this self push self study kind of thing because when i arrived here first year you know you, you i thought I, guys i feel like every medical student thinks that whenever they get to university like um now the teachers are like you know full on teaching full on lecturing you know you find these um office hours where you can go see them for consultation and you think it's like that okay other universities are like that no lies but mine unfortunately isn't like that and first year i was more relaxed because i thought maybe like the university would actually you know uh provide like really really quality stuff it's a medical university also right so you think it's gonna be like 100 percent you don't have to do much of the work the teaching is awesome the resources are packed are packed test books are available everything is like there there's wi-fi there's all that but i mean it made me chill because i was like okay like i get everything like it's easy for me but as the years went on i saw that actually it's not what i think it is i need to wake up for my dream and i need to push myself because uh i'm not gonna be food, i'm not gonna be spoon fed i need to really push myself you know it's challenging yes but <laughs> yeah i had to push no lies so that's when the study groups came that's when we started now looking for our own resources with my friends and other classmates we started like you know really digging and and one thing guys it's really important for us to also kind of align what we study here uh because we uh, we plan I, I personally plan to come back and work in essay i personally plan to um really practice an essay so uh, i have to like you know align my things not just focus on russian standard but also put south african standard there like i told you that we do topographical anatomy which is almost only found in russia so it's like we have to you know so now comparing my first year to now now i'm more um serious about looking for resources talking to doctors from back home trying to find out information getting resources getting tests from other universities from back home so that i can be on point and not just focus on russian standard but also be putting in some essay standard there and there and by the way guys if you'd like please you can send me resources guys because yeah your girl out here is trying to get some essay resources if you're a south african medical student please 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 i'll even leave my instagram handle with sell with sell tando mamba tando t a n d o w underscore m a m b a that's my instagram name guys please dm me i would love to receive any material whether it's pdf test books whether it's documents whether it's past exams anything i'm taking guys from south africa i really am taking so yeah <clears throat> back to the video so yes guys like honestly now i push myself more that's one thing which i i really feel like when comparing it to my previous year i wish i would have told my first year self to say listen take this thing serious take these studies serious don't just think that what you get in class is it like go home prepare study much study groups everything just you know work hard so yeah but now i'm there i'm coming i'm coming guys it's hard but we are getting there <laughs> and then the next question is advice to give to future and current medical students guys 
the same thing I just said right now. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. I feel like, guys, you know, in life, there's times for everything. And I feel like in varsity, that's not the time to play. No offense. I really feel like varsity is not the time to play. Like, time to play and relax is when now you're getting your check and you're sitting there. You see your money coming in. You see the bank notifications. Now you're getting paid. Now you can enjoy your money. Like, I feel like varsity is the point where you have to push really hard. And then relaxing. Nyana, nyana. Because I know being a doctor, you're not going to relax 24 hours, 24-7. You know, you, you, you work even night shift and stuff. But I feel like there's that enjoyment compared to now. And I feel like now when you work hard, you're working towards that, right? You're working towards your future. Medical students, I hope you're listening. So whenever now you actually get to become a medical doctor everything every 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 energy every single late night or um, uh, night crossing what is it called it's not yeah cross nighting every single one of us will pay off in the end because now everything you've been studying now you have to put it to practice right yes you'll still be working hard but now the workload is not as much as you were, you are preparing now you're just manifesting it you get me so that's the advice i'd give to most medical students to say guys work hard now and play later okay and then um i think that would be all okay there was a question i think which talked about how i got into medicine in russia i'm not seeing it now but Selu did ask that i think i don't know how i skipped that question so basically how to apply to study in russia guys um there are a few agencies which i know actually i know two that are helping students to apply to study in Russia. There is Symatex and there's also Rakas. So I came with Rakas, right? But I think I would, I've never experienced Symatex, but people that I know say it's pretty, pretty good as well. So I'd also, you know, promote that too, you know, try it out. And I feel like with Symatex, um, they give most universities, which are in the capital city, of course, you might get uh, quality, of course, but you might need to pay more if you're going to study in the capital city. But I think that they would provide uh, better university choices. So that's how we arrived. It was through an agency called Rakas. But there's also an agency, an agency called Simatex. They're recruiting students from all over the world to come and study in Russia. And guys, please, can I advise you? Whichever agency you use, ask for a list of universities. Let them show you and then you pick for yourself. Okay, don't let them pick for you, please. And do your research on any university which you'd like to come to. Please, I'm begging you, do your research. Find out not just from the agency because they'll sell your dreams or just tell you all the nice things. Ask students or ask me even, you know. We've heard of this university. What do you think of it? Like, you know, it's not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Setting up is challenging, but it's also got its benefits. You know, like I said, the requirements are not that high. And Wi-Fi here is cheap for students. Like, literally, data is, like, affordable, honestly. And also, man, I feel like it's a great experience. Some people just want to study abroad, you know. Like, if you'd like to, man, come through. And that's the method which we use. Like I said, it's Rutgers, so we do everything for you. They take your documents. And school here starts um, in September. So when I say I just started my fifth year, I meant I started my fifth year like last month, first of September. So that's how we do things. And then we close July. It's not like back home or January, you know. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope this video was quite a little bit informative. So um, if you have any more questions or you'd like to know anything about studying in Russia, uh, do maybe Sally will ask me or like you can, like I said, DM me or subscribe to my channel or anything and then we can chat you know so yeah guys uh yeah man stay tuned for more i think i'm i know Selu is providing really good content i've seen some of her five videos so yeah guys continue liking her videos subscribing to her channel truly truly we true you we youtubers we appreciate it when you guys do this so yes guys uh yeah bye our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.